What's up everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're going to talk about something that I think um, should have been addressed a long time ago and I'm not really sure why it wasn't. I think people just don't give a fuck. They just listen to um, what people say and as long as you say there was a study done and you say anything after that, I think people generally just take your word for it. They, they don't even give a fuck about whether it was a real study or the context of it or anything like that. But the study about steroids building muscle um, without working out. Like there's been this, this I want to say, I don't want to say myth because we're going to break it down as to why this fucking thing actually, this, I, I want to say it's a rumor, plain and simple. We know in the bodybuilding community, those of us that have taken steroids know that you have to train when you're taking steroids to see results, plain and simple. Like I don't give a fuck what anybody says. You're going to have gurus out there that fucking will swear up and down. And I'm like, listen, dude, prove it. Fucking sit on your ass, take a bunch of testosterone, show us and show us with DEXA scans and shit because what was done in this study it's not necessarily the most accurate shit, and I'm surprised that people actually look at this and go, hmm, yeah, yeah, this totally makes sense. Now, they did uh, uh, randomly assigned 43 normal men. I don't know what the fuck normal men mean, but whatever. That was the study. 43 men, um, one to four groups, um, to one of four groups. That's what they put them in. And one group was they didn't weight train and took steroids. Another one was they um, weight trained and took steroids. They weight trained and didn't take steroids. And what was the fourth one? It was like they didn't weight train and didn't take steroids. I guess they just sat around. Like I don't fucking I don't know what the, the other one was. But anyways, they had those four groups and they um, received 600 milligrams of testosterone a week. Okay, 600 milligrams for 10 weeks. Now I'm just gonna let you guys know. In 10 weeks, I put on over 60 pounds in my first cycle of 250 milligrams of testosterone. Okay. So there's, there's, just keep that in mind, okay? Not only was I eating like a fucking horse, but I was training like a fucking horse. And I'd been training naturally for years and driving myself into the ground. My body couldn't recover. I just didn't know it. But the steroids absolutely made me recover faster. And I don't know many people that gained that much on their first cycle. So if it really was the steroids that did it alone, I think everybody should be able to fucking mimic that or replicate it. But that's not how that works. So that being said, um, the fat-free mass was determined by underwater weighing, Muscle size was measured by magnetic resistance imaging, and the strength of the arms and legs were assessed by bench press and squatting exercises, respectively. Now, they don't really talk about the strength in general, about how, how much strength they gain while taking steroids and not working out. But what they did say, here's the results to the whole thing, right? Among the men in the no-exercise groups, those given testosterone had greater increases than the, those given placebo in the muscle size in their arms. Okay, so the size of their arms got bigger, okay, on 600 milligrams of testosterone. Now, it wasn't, it, it, believe me, it wasn't anything that was like a millimeter. It wasn't anything like, wow, holy shit, right? They said that um, uh, in their arms and their legs, changing the quadriceps, I mean, it was, it's so minute, it's like fucking, it's like nothing. Um, greater in great increases in strength in the bench press and squatting exercises, which again, was barely anything, but it, they, there was a difference, right? Um, the men assigned testosterone and exercise had greater increases in fat-free mass. Of course, they were off the fucking charts compared to the other guys. Um, and those assigned to either no exercise group and greater increases in muscle strength, bench press, etc., um, was less than all of them, right? Neither mood nor behavior was altered in any group. I'm not sure what the fuck that has to do with gaining muscle without working out. But conclusion, super physiological doses of testosterone, especially when combined with strength training, increased fat-free mass and muscle size and strength in normal men. That is conclusion. What is not said here is they're not talking anywhere. I'm not looking at anything right here at all anywhere about their diets. Not anything. Now, we do know that as you increase your testosterone, your androgen levels go up. Your body heals faster. With that, anybody that's ever taken this stuff, the hunger signal starts to increase. Your body needs more food now to cover the fact that your body's building faster. You recover faster. You will get hungry faster. You burn through more calories. Now, that's not fucking news, right? Everybody knows that. So where is the thing saying that these guys took testosterone and did not increase their calories at all? It doesn't say that anywhere in the fucking study. It doesn't mention diet anywhere. It just talks about fucking weight training and giving them steroids. That's it. So at the end of 10 weeks, the people who did not train with weights that took steroids gained 1.7 pounds of lean, non-fat-free uh, mass, lean body mass, whatever the fuck you want to say. 1.7 pounds. Now, I can go eat a meal right now and step on the scale and be over fucking 1.7 pounds in 10 minutes. Okay, so then it's, let's break it down. What I'm trying to get at is, we all know, anybody who's ever taken testosterone at 600 milligrams, which is a pretty good goddamn dose, I wouldn't say super physiological, but I'd say higher than normal, right? I'd say like, when you're hitting a gram, to me that's super physiological, but I'm warped because of the, the bodybuilding industry and stuff. As you 
increase testosterone levels to 600 milligrams. What comes with that? Just out of curiosity, does anybody know? Show of hands, please. Water retention. Water retention, absolutely, especially if somebody's never taken anything, some of that does aromatize and it absolutely causes water retention. It causes sodium retention at the same time, which these people may have never had. And a 1.7 pound gain on a scale is fucking nothing. So they didn't even take into account the fact that they retain water on these drugs, which easily accounts for the 1.7 pounds, or the fact that these motherfuckers never tracked their diet. As that hunger signal went up, those motherfuckers sitting on the couch who did not train would actually gain weight, not necessarily fat-free mass, but gain weight faster by increasing those calories. Now, what the fuck? Like, I'm sitting here going, none of you guys took like a muscle biopsy. They didn't do, um, you know, they did a hydrostatic weighing, weighing underwater, which if I drank three pounds of water, right? If I get in the hydrostatic weighing and I get out, and it says that I have like 200 pounds of fat-free mass or whatever, right? And I drink three pounds of water and I get back in that fucking thing, it'll now say that I gained three pounds of lean body mass in that fucking five minutes that I drank the water. But we know it's not hypertrophy. It's not actual tissue. It's water. It's in my fucking stomach. That's, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you guys, I mean, I, I agree that this stuff should be studied, but what the fuck? Like, if these scientists came to a bodybuilder and said, how do you think we should do this to absolutely make sure that we're getting the actual right results? This is 96, too. So in 96, people even back then were fucking new. These scientists knew even less then than they do now. That's why they did the fucking study. But we we know now, we being fucking bodybuilders, that water retention... I mean, dude, if you've fucking gained 1.7 pounds of water in 10 weeks, you've basically gained fucking nothing. Because you should gain 4 or 5 pounds of water easily if you're training due to the fact that your body gets an inflammatory response, there's a little bit of water retained from that while you're training, the aromatization of the steroids, the sodium retention from the steroids, you should gain five pounds easy in 10 weeks, right? So if you take out the stimulus of the training, now that, that number will go down. 1.7 pounds easily of water retention. Easily of fucking water retention. Not even including the fact that have these people changed their diet? Did they actually increase their calories, which... I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but if you're increasing calories and these people are really serious into working out and they're increasing their calories from like lean proteins and good carbohydrates and they're not fucking shoving an extra 10,000 calories in their body trying to gain weight, guess what? Their weight's going to slightly go up on that fucking scale because they're not gorging themselves. 1.7 pounds? That's fucking... I'm like, you got to be fucking shitting me. So you see guys, like they gained weight that would be considered fat-free mass, but there was never any muscle biopsy to show whether it was actual hypertrophy or anything like that, nor was there a DEXA scan done. It was hydrostatic weighing, and they were measuring the size of their arms. What do you guys think happens when you take 600 milligrams of testosterone? You actually get an increase in red blood cells. That pump you get that's fucking sick and off out of this world, that's red blood cells being created so that your body has an abundance because your androgen levels are high. With those red blood cells comes more water retention for their new red blood cells. I've seen people literally in the, it was the Anadrol study that they had a pint. They had an extra pint of red blood cells in their fucking body just from the Anadrol. And I'm sitting there going, so bodybuilders know you get water retention. We know that you get more red blood cells. We know that you're not going to gain fucking fat mass in 10 weeks if you're, unless you're not fucking eating like fucking crazy and, and gorging yourself. And we also know that these motherfuckers they didn't even talk about their diet and what it changed. So not only are there so many fucking holes, it absolutely takes an arrow to anybody that understands how these drugs work. And let's face facts, I don't know a lot, but I know a lot about how fucking drugs work. I mean, plain and simple, <laughs> I've been around them a long fucking time and done every combination with myself that fucking you can possibly do of everything that's out there, even the fucking shit that nobody wants to take, I would take. And we know that how these fucking things work. But those people that are lazy, those people that are the ones that want to point the finger and say, well, this person looks like that because of drugs. You cannot, let me just fucking put this out there. You cannot, not, not gain any new muscle tissue, okay, at all for any fucking reason that you fucking can think of without having more building materials to build that new muscle, amino acids. All the steroids in the world will cause water retention, which is technically not fat mass, but you will not be able to gain active, uh, act, metabolically active tissue, actual muscle tissue, unless you're eating more protein, which means that you got two ways that these people gain that 1.7 pounds possibly. One, water retention, which I'm absolutely willing to bet is 99% of the fuckers that gain the 1.7 pounds. And two, 
possible increase in fucking protein, carbs, fats, calorie-wise, okay, that would account for your body actually building something on top of it, which means that technically the steroids didn't build it. The steroids were a trigger to get your body to build, but the protein increased it. You see what I'm saying? Like, it, it, in, I'm telling you right now, it was the water retention. It's not the fucking protein. I'm telling you right now, it's not protein. Because you need to have a stimulus in your body to create the adaptive response that your body wants to grow from. Without the stimulus training, then you don't have an adaptive response. I mean, what is it? Were you picking up your dog every day to fucking move him around? Like, there's no stimulus. Without the stimulus, the body doesn't adapt. It stays the fucking same. It never wants to go up or down. It always wants to stay the same and survive. So therefore, the only fucking reason these people, these men, sorry, gained 1.7 pounds of lean body mass, fat-free mass, lean body tissue, like whatever the fuck you want to call it, was simply because they retained water on 600 milligrams of fucking pharmaceutical grade testosterone. And I guarantee you they didn't give you give these guys any Novadex, no fucking Arimidex, none of that shit that you normally use to combat that bloat. And you try to tell me that 1.7 pounds is a good gain of fucking water? For Christ's sakes, it can be done in 10 minutes fucking just drinking water and eating food. So be aware, guys. You can absolutely sway these fucking results very easily and not even fucking know it. You know what I mean? Because scientists, they're locked inside that box. Remember, whatever's in that box is reality. Whatever's out here isn't. So therefore... The fat-free mass went up because fucking it's not body fat. But is it fluid? It's not body fat. But is it fluid? Well, the muscles part fluid. But is it fucking fluid between the skin, in your face, in your hands, not in the muscle? Oh, well, it's a fat-free mass. You guys are fucking dumb. As smart as these scientists are, they sometimes they're just fucking dumb. And I hate to say that because we rely on these motherfuckers to tell us what the fuck is going on with our bodies and everything else in the world. But... Let's face facts, bodybuilding, bodybuilding drugs, pharmacology with this shit is not something these people are interested in or even their fucking strong point. But you've got millions of motherfuckers out there, men, women, fucking even teenagers now, taking tons of these fucking anabolic drugs. Why don't you fucking lasso up a bunch of these motherfuckers, round them up, bring them in, fucking just funnel them all in like fucking cattle and start doing a fucking questionnaire and piecing together what the fuck is going on? Because I think if... Scientists actually just interviewed bodybuilders and the bodybuilders were 100% honest with them. I think scientists' mind would be fucking blown by what these things do and how little they do by themselves. And they need to have food, stimulus. Like, the body can't grow without stimulus. The body can't grow without the fucking building blocks for growth. Doesn't matter what you put in it. Like, you can put a literally a whole fucking bottle of nitrous in your goddamn car without a single fucking drop of gas. That fucker sits in the driveway and won't even move. Same fucking shit. Do the steroids help? Absolutely. Do they fucking make you Superman? No. Do they help your body recover faster? Absolutely. Do they help you gain muscle without working out? Fuck no. Biosuretraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosuretraining.com is a blog. So steroids do not build muscle on their own bicep, motherfucker, and we are out.